Oh. And you know, I didn't go at all to, oh, this meeting is being live streamed. It I is think it's being live streamed. I'm right sorry, now. I didn't want to warn you. I just was like, let's just Oh, let's go. In the middle of a conversation. Here we go. Uh, and there's no, I, this is, this is all off the cuff. We have no, well, I never have any scripts on anything that I do, but this one's way off for me because it's not. Hold on, I have one. Uh, welcome everybody to. Uh, no, not that part, but like the part oh, about, no. I mean, I guess, wait, I'm seeing it on Facebook live on my phone, but it's just, it's not showing a picture of us. It's just all black. Oh, oh there it is. is being live this is. This okay. is all off the cuff. Oh, and it's off. What's the word? Time. The timing is off. Okay. So now I can see the comments here and see if people are talking back to us. All right. Um, Welcome everyone to the, um, this is an impromptu, impromptu but kind of scheduled um, webinar. Yeah. That's not a webinar, just a Facebook Live because I'm going to be honest. I didn't know how to go live on Instagram only for my phone. And I didn't want to do it for my phone because I wanted Jay to be on. And just with my yeah. schedule, I didn't yep. have time to, it's just excuses. I just didn't, yep. I just yep. wasn't That's prepared right to go live on Instagram. So, there we go. Should I so, chew gum or not? Should I throw my gum away? Yes, please. I spit my gum out. I'm a gum chewer. Ma! Ma! Okay, let's go. Okay. Meatloaf. There we go. All right. So welcome everyone. <clears throat> My name is Eleni Summershield. I have to look to see what my name is. I don't, but yeah, I uh, saw that you went to look. <laughs> I thought I saw something come across on my phone, but um, apparently it is just um, doing the closed caption on the Facebook Live. So that's what I was yeah. looking at. So, okay. Well, you uh, know, it's good to kind of maintain your focus here. Yeah, I'm going to try. We're, we're try like doing best. a webinar and stuff. You know, <laughs> whenever you're ready. Whenever I'm ready. Yes. Whenever. So, um, so anyways, you all know me, Eleni, um, at Wise Agent here. And then I have my friend Jeremiah J Man Monero in Rochester, New York. And so he was just reminding me that we met two years ago today. Today is it today, really? Two years it's ago. It's our friend anniversary. Friend anniversary. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's today. I just know like it was triple play two years ago, whatever the date that yeah. was. I think it, it was probably the third because the third day is usually when I go through the expo and I see the important people that I want to meet. And one of them on my list was like, yo, I got to meet the chief operating officer, <laughs> the wise agent. Let's go. And here I am two years oh, later. Two years I made two. it, mom. I made it. If you're watching you me, I made it. You did. I don't know if you made it or I made I did it. it for the one. gram. I did it for the gram. Oh, let's go. Just want to be TikTok famous. Let's so, go. So it is you and we are. And so today we're going to be talking about, I don't even know what we're talking about today. I know we're talking about Instagram reels. You're just so off the cuff for me that I know it, does, it throws me up. And before we got on, he's like, you know what, whenever we go live, he's like, I always throw you off. And then you start fumbling around with your words. And I'm like, yeah, I do. Because I'm like one of those people, I'm that type A personality. I mean, I do have yeah. a fun side to me. Everyone that knows me knows that. Well, let's but, talk about that. Let's talk about that. Your fun side, side and what and what we discovered with yeah. the reels. With the, the reels. reels of so, so I'll tell you this. That I was talking to our marketing team this morning too, and I'm like, all right, well, so this, how did our wise agent ch challenge, um, wise agent owl challenge go on Instagram? And so I have access to our Instagram account as well, but they're way more well-versed than I am in all the um, things that happen in that world. And one of the things was, I mean, I even noticed it myself was that it didn't do like, we didn't get Jay, we didn't get what we wanted. Like we were like, if right. we could get like 20 people to do the dance, like that'd be cool. I think we got four, four people. One of them was me. Um, the other was Miranda who's in our marketing team. So we don't count. And then we got two other people, Billy, um, in B town, right? B -town, so, Billy Parrot. Billy Parrot, okay. yes. And Mara Sullivan Consulting. So Mara, she's one of my friends. So um, Mara Sullivan out of um, where the heck does she live? I can't think of it. But in California, I can't think of the city. And she lives um, somewhere. She lives somewhere. And so um, they did reels. So they did two each. They did a reel. 
and did the collaboration like we had wanted. So it was not what we were expecting. That was not the expected result. But sometimes, you know, you have an idea, you throw it out there and you're like, let's see what sticks. Well, this and sometimes the vanity metric, like we call those the vanity metrics, right? Right. Don't matter because it's like, okay, we didn't get the results we were looking for, but did we make an impression? Mm -hmm. Yes. We did, did we touch more people than we would not have had we not done the promotion? Yeah. Yes. Were we able to demonstrate that Eleni does have a fun side, even <laughs> if her foot is like almost broken? Half broken. Yeah. Yes. Like multiple broken. times. That's, and that's and cool. really, we we should give credit to like, man, that's probably eight or nine ladies like Carrie Jo Little, mm -hmm. Marky, Hope, uh, Sarah Ware, I think. Like, no, Hope wasn't there. Um, Sarah Ware, there was a bunch that like came and did, did like the, the big group one, and we practiced that for like 20 minutes. We're going to keep did. it real. You did. And I have a video of Marquis coming while you guys were practicing, and she wasn't at the practice. She's like, What? You guys were practicing like, without what? me? Oh, yo, man, that's that boy. You guys try to practice without me. And here, look, the back, <laughs> the back story for that is like her and I did it. Was it a reel? Or was it a TikTok? I think it was a TikTok that I then repurposed later on into a reel. And, you know, she has like a stepping background. Like in, in college, she was part of the step team or whatever. And like, so her and I did one and I'm just like vibing out and she's doing this. Oh, shoot. She's and her friends are like, yo, I don't know what's up with that dude that you did that TikTok with. But he's got, you know, he doesn't got it like you, Marcus. So I'm like, OK, all right, I'm going to bring I'm going to bring the heat. So that's why you're practicing without her. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. So, I mean, what, what did it do? So we didn't get the expected results of like getting, you know, 20 people to do the reels. What we did get though, was we did get people to, well, know what a reel was and that you can use right. this collaboration tool. Um, and then you and I did a, a webinar right after NAR and talked about um, some of the, what the collaboration tool is. And then the very next day, I'm like, Hey, did you know that you could even collaborate? <laughs> oh. Totally did. You're like, did you know that you could collaborate with posts and all that? I'm like, uh, Eleni, I, I kind of said that in the webinar and you're like, no, I was like, oh, oh. I wasn't listening. Oh yeah. You know, I, I just wait for you to stop talking Jeremiah so that I can talk. So, you know, no, that's, cool. that's exactly how it went down. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so then what we ended up, what we ended up like finding as like our conclusion, like of this whole thing, right. Was that yes, I can have fun and Jay can dance so, and doesn't have to practice all that much for it. But what we found out is that you can still have, like make impressions on it. So the people that were um, like Billy had, um, she was the one she did like the whole, she had the whole feather thing. I dressed loved, up like, like a freaking owl. She, That's what she, she did. Dressed up like an owl and she is a professional dancer. I ended up getting to meet her in San Diego, which was awesome. But she had 867 people watch her, her um, reel, and then 10 people commented, 28 people liked it. Mara had 467 people play her reel, one comment, 27 likes. Um, but then the reel that Billy reposted to you, Jay, got, I, these numbers are tiny. And that was, that 50, was the, the remix, 50, right? Yeah, so she the remix that she did got 5,800 views, 475 likes and 73 comments. That's a lot, that's a lot of, um, engagement in there and um, a, a lot of views as well, where yours, your original reel got 3,200 plays, 23 comments and 179 likes. So um, what, so what did we learn? What did we learn? So we learned that you can definitely get this free exposure and collaborating will give you a larger audience of what you have, right? Much. It basically takes your audience plus my audience and then it, I mean, it, it truly is the like collaboration like you've never seen. It's the right. perfect, perfectly defined term that yeah. they use. It. And so you can reach a lot more people, um, you know, with that. Um, and then you could really what you could do is you could it brings out your personality, but you can bring um, value to it and just teaching people. We did have a couple of people that created reels. Um, that just, I think they, I don't think they collaborated with us. I think they just tagged us, um, yeah. but yeah. they still did it and they were attempting to it, to do it. So it was something new for right. them. So that was a good thing that came out of it. But I think the other thing that um, came from it is that you can still 
repurpose some of this stuff. And it doesn't have to be about, like for me, everybody that watches like the webinars knows that I'm more on the, like, I don't, I don't show that side of me. That's that I'm formal and stuffy and yeah. And yeah. it's like CRM and, and stuffiness, right? But I think what it proves is that you can show your personality and then know that your, your audience is expecting something. I think your audience, Jay, expects that silliness where my audience doesn't. And so I think- and but Wait, I, okay. and so because of that, yeah, sometimes it has such a response from your audience because they go, oh, damn, look at Eleni. Right. And then same thing when they, when I, when I get serious and I start dropping some knowledge, like, oh shoot, he's more than just a yeah. song and dance character. He's got this big brain too, that he can share with us. And, and I, I think like when you talked about like, know what to expect after the fact, it's funny because right after NAR, I, I had to go to Indianapolis to my board, uh, Metro Indianapolis board of realtors. And I, I was doing a, a leadership speaking, like teaching leaders how to be better public speakers, right? And the person who hired me, she's, she's like, are you gonna have him do a dance? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I hadn't planned to, but you know what? Let's go, you know, it's a, like, it, it's being able to, to do that. And, and, you know, I think when all, when you, when you evaluate all the, if all of the things were the same, like there's another speaker, two of us are very similar in our delivery, but I'm more fun public, you know, public opinion might be that I might be more fun than the next one, then edutainment's going to win because people are going to more likely to tune in, more likely to listen. And really it's conducive to a better learning environment, right? The more we laugh, studies have shown, the more we laugh, the more we have fun, the more we're going to listen, the more we're going to learn. Well, right. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, even like in school, you wanted to be in the classroom with the fun teacher that you know, was, you know, made the jokes and, and was more playful yeah. and had more, you know, just I had more of a vibe, right? I didn't have many of those. Oh, I had a couple. Most of mine sent me to the office. I, did. I heard your story about school. I heard your, your school stories. Um, but yeah, so I, I think also, let me turn off my notifications. Um, I think um, the thing is too, is that you can make reels. One of the things is you can make reels that are informative and fun. Um, right. I saw one the other night, um, a friend of mine, he's in, I can't remember a single city in California today. I can't remember what city he's in. San Diego, of. San Francisco, no, no, Sacramento. That's not with an S, but anyways, whatever the city okay. is, Alex coded at up in somewhere, Cal Northern California. Um, he did a reel and it was like, Hey, do you want to, um, what did he say? Do you want to look rich? And he had a picture of like a Ferrari and like, you know, he's by this Ferrari, you know, you can have, you can look rich by driving this fancy car, having a fancy watch. You can have, you know, the nice purse, or do you want to actually be rich? And then it was, you can buy this investment property or this investment property. And it was about, and it was really fast because these things are all really fast. They're like 30, 40 seconds. They're not any longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. like the ones where they go, Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. And like, I like those, but for me, I'm so impatient. Like it takes time to go type the, what, what the thing is. And then you have to time it properly in the reel. By yeah. that, I could have gone like this. Yeah. And then hit post. Right. And just yeah. be done. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> yeah. I mean, but you can do a really quick, you know, here's a picture of this, here's a picture of that, put so that together into like a quick little video where it's just a bunch of screenshots really is what yep. it is. And then just post that together and just overlay a couple of words. Like, you know, you could even say like, Hey, are you, you know, whatever, are you looking to, are you looking to actually become a rich, be an investor? Here's this property, here's this property and put, you know, what the potential of return on investment would be if you were to buy it with, you know, do the math for them, right? If you put your 20% down or, you know, 30% down and you rent it out for this much, da, 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 and then say this would have a 30% ROI, this would have a this, and then do that really quickly. I think that, you know, I think that would be helpful. That would be a good reel. There, there's a ton of good ideas out there. And I think looking at people in different markets and then, um, kind of reusing or using what they do and um, and bringing that into your own space to your market, I think is a great way of doing it. And it just gives you really good exposure. Did you, did you have something? 
Or were you just talking to yourself? No. I, were you talking I to all of us or just you? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find, here we go. This is just like an informational one. Yeah. Which is something really quick. Yeah. That's yeah. So hot. I was like this, the one that you can't see because of my things trying to make it green, but it's, it was three poses to make for better pictures. And so yeah. I had pose one. Pose, yeah. you know, pose two, and then he did it and then pose three, but it was informational, educational, and then the music provides like a fun vibe. Right. So like you're educating you're, and entertaining at the same time. So yeah. there's a million ways to do it. Just do it. Just right. do it. Make your dreams come true. Exactly. So we said we were going to announce winners. Exactly. <laughs> and so we're like, we're like, what? <laughs> we are going to just do it. Um, and like we are going to still announce winners it's going to be we, we're, we're getting a little bit creative and if you do know me i like being creative we don't have to always um you know because we didn't get you know we didn't get the people that we needed to get to um have like all of the winners but billy did win um first prize mara won the second prize and then um Where did I write? I wrote down on a piece of paper. This is Sandra Johnson. Is that her name? I believe that was her name. And Atlanta, she won the third prize. So she was one of the um, people that did a really and tagged us, I believe. So um, so we have we have our winners and we'll we'll send, we'll reach out to you guys, get your addresses and, and ship your um your prizes out to you. But I think the biggest thing for this would be just getting um getting your out of your comfort zone. So I definitely got out of my comfort zone um, and putting yourself out there on video first and foremost, which is, that's like a big thing for a lot of people. So do whatever is like a little uncomfortable, but still not like horribly bad where you, you know, are gonna not post it, you know, just do something that you'll, you'll post and have fun with it. Just post it, stop giving about it. Just, you know, I mean, really it's like, it's, it's, it's the most liberating, like my greatest fear is not living up to my fullest potential. Right. And I think that's how everybody should be and think, be thinking like, you know what, what, yeah. what am I afraid of? Why not me? It's that old imposter syndrome. I, I talked about it not too long ago where, you know, it's, it's, you feel like you're not good enough, no matter how much research you do, no matter how much, you know, you have all the information, the equipment, you know how to do it. You're just scared to do it because you feel like who's going to watch my reel anyways. Right. And if it's, if it's just one person that decides to buy a home and you change their life, that that makes it all worth it. Yeah. So that's, you got to keep in mind. Yeah. And I mean, I think just there, even if you get out of your comfort zone, you show some, you're of the other side of you, that side that maybe people don't see, they, they'll surprise you. And like, they'll engage with you based on that. You meet somebody new and fun and fresh that you'll want to hang out with as well. So you just open up your circle of people. I don't think it's ever a bad thing. I don't, you know, don't worry too much about like, what are people going to say or think? I mean, it's such a hard yeah. life to live in. It's a hard box to live in where you're being, you're stifling yourself. Um, and, uh, sales is a contact sport. Yeah. 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 Right? I mean, that's what my sales manager used to say to me. Like you actually have to do things in order to get sales, not just yeah. sit at your computer and go refresh. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for a lead. Then my, my AI bot can handle it. And then right. they can tell me when it's ready for me. Exactly. Exactly. So make, making sure that you're getting out there and meeting people. And a lot of people like to see people have fun and they want to join in. So that dance was fun to do. I mean, we got a, we got a lot of people, we had a lot of traffic even at our booth at NAR because people were like, what's going on here? They saw the lights, they saw the video, they saw people dancing in the hall, you know, in that aisle section. And they were like, what's happening? There were just random people coming by to just, you know, hang out and do that. And it was. It was I, yeah. I mean, really when, when we did the big group one, yeah. there was like, sure. There was like eight or nine of us that were doing it, but there was 20 or 30 people that were yeah. like, what's going on? Hey guys, what's, and they're like, so there might, there might be all this other ancillary videos that were created and content that was posted that they may not know us and not tag us in it, but yeah. we created that moment. Right. right. I mean, shoot, that's yeah. awesome. That's what it's all about.
It is, it is. And if hopefully they're watching this, then they can say, oh, I could take that and I can repurpose this content. Like, you know, so when you go to those events, when you're at NAR or Triple Play or any of your local um, or state um, associations learning, doing your CE credits, you can do a quick little reel like, hey, this is what we're learning about. And just post really quickly what you're learning about. That's That shows that you're always in in tune with what it is that you do for a living and how you make a living. So, and people like that. People like to know that you're educated in it. So when I come out on the webinars and talk about things, well, when I say statistics and I come up with the facts and figures of, you know, what people are doing and their CRM and, and everything else, well, that just proves the that I actually am reading about what I talk about. I, I'm studying it. It's not, it's not just me being off the cuff and just giving my opinion. There are facts to support it. So that's what people want. Right. right, Jay? That's what people want. They don't want to see me dancing necessarily. I want to see you dancing. <laughs> No. And at the same time going, hey, the facts and statistics are this. CRMs are great. And you know, we're, here we come and we're all about to show it. Let's go. It's a Lenny. See, you can do that stuff. You have that big personality that like comes into so it. I you. just stop it. I, no I don't, excuses. it's different. It's different. It's different though. And it's fine. It's different. Excuse. I just don't. Yeah. It's not that like I can come into a room and I can command a room when I feel like I, that's what my purpose is to do, but then, but I don't have that big larger than life. I don't have that. Um, well, and you but know, it's, it's like, fun. sometimes I have to dial it back as well. Like if I walk into a room and it's a, it's a new environment for me, place someplace where I've never been, I don't know anybody. I'm yeah. not going to walk in with my fur coat on I'm like, yo, what's up my people. Cause you're going to be like, who's this dude, mm -hmm. get him out of here. You know, I, I might come in, I look, I listen, and then I, I kind of like, okay, let me get a feel for the scene. Cause then that's where some people will be like, you know, I, I, I thought you were so introverted. And I'm like, no, sometimes you have to, I like to say, participate, not dominate the conversation, right? Be a part of it, not run the whole thing. Yeah. I just warm up to it. And yeah, I get, I definitely get, you know, I could be an introvert. I can be shy. I don't have to, I don't have to go into a room and be seen. I'm okay with being a wallflower sometimes. So I'm fine with that. So it's just do whatever makes you comfortable. You trying to be a wallflower? I was looking at the clouds. Oh, looking at the clouds. And then I see there's, I have this, I have this picture over here that's blurring, but it says, don't be afraid to dream big. So oh yeah. Turn my camera a little bit. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Little things like that. Well, yeah. Like yours is an actual background. Mine's a pretend mine, background. Mine is an actual, mine is an actual background. It's not on brand with Wise Agent. And I know my marketing team doesn't always like that, but it's on brand with me. I like sparkles and shiny things. So <laughs> it's funny because before we started, I was like, Hey, what background do you like? It was this white one, or I have like a more pinkish like YouTube one. And then I have another one that's like a blurred background that's colored. I, and I knew in my heart, you were going to say this one, but I wanted to just see, like, yeah. no, that's it. White, yeah. clean. White. Yeah. Clean I'm lines. all about white, clean, clean lines. Yep. Not, not much clutter. I don't like clutter unless you're looking. Well, I had to clean off of all desk. these desks. See all these <laughs> desks? I had to clean them up before we, before we yeah. got started. Yeah, I that's actually my have another desk to put together um, after we hop off. Yeah. But that's my aesthetic is clean, you know, not, I don't, don't make me, if I lose my focus, then, you know, that I get flustered and I, I lose my focus. It's, I'm off, I'm off. But yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we did this real. I, and this was a real, it was a wise agent owl challenge, but it was also an any challenge from Jay that, you know, you challenged me to get out of my comfort zone and to do something different. And I did, and I'm happy that I did it. I'm, I don't, I would do it again. I don't know if I would do the dancing part again. Cause that's still not my, that's not like my thing, <laughs> but I'd do it again. Um, I would definitely, I think it. it is your thing. I think you just got to embrace it. Let's I do will. it. I and, will. And, and you know, it's, I think part of it, and here's what, maybe it'll be our best spot to end this, mm -hmm. but it's like a, it's like a generational difference where if you've grown up being like, you know, to be a professional, 
You have to be kind of serious. You got to give your facts and figures. You know, when, when my father went to work, it was sh suit, tie, very serious. And you have like the business you and then you have the personal you and those two never, they never meet, yeah. right? There's, they're totally separate people. Yeah. And I, I think nowadays it, it's the biggest challenge for people to embrace is like, this is what I'm really like. Right. Like me or not, it's yeah. fine with me. Yeah, that is true. I mean, that is totally true. But, um, and I, and I totally agree with you on that, but I still feel like it's me. Like I'll do that with a group of friends, but I won't initiate it. I'll do it if, I'll do it if somebody asks me to do it. So next year when I'm traveling and zigzagging the whole entire country and you're like, you stop me and you're like, Hey, do a reel with me. I will. Even if I have a half broken. Hold foot. up guys. I want you to, so I want you to just take a little snippet of this, this video right here. This 30 seconds is going to be a reel where she says, if you see me, make sure you stop me and we're going to do a reel. Okay. Everywhere you see her, you say, Lenny, look, I got this one. I just picked out for us. And then she's got to yeah. do it. I know I, uh, well, I'll do it. Like I said, I will, but I'm not going to initiate it. Somebody taps me on the shoulder and says, let's do it. I'll do it. Um, uh, every I single time I see you. <laughs> I know. And I'm coming to New York quite a bit this year. So that'll be, will be interesting. So every time I see you, the hammer is just so hype. Say hammer, go hammer, go down. See, see, I can't do that. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to just start. And, and here's what I learned during the pandemic because I took this online, uh, it was a distance education instructor, mm -hmm. certified distance education instructor certification. And they talked about musical intelligence and certain people like almost every sentence when I'm talking to somebody, I never understood this, but almost every sentence somebody says, I can tie it in with a song in my head. And like, I hear it playing, whether I'm saying it out loud to you or not, it's really? going, it's, it's going down. And so like that's when somebody has a higher level of that, it helps them to remember things in song and with music and music brings a different kind of joy. You know, like for me, when I'm working here at the office and I'm super busy, I got music playing loud and vibing out. And like, that's how it helps me to, to, to stay focused where my wife would be like, yo, shut it down. That's why she works from home. And I work, you know, here at the office because different strokes. Yeah. I'm more, well, I'm more like your wife. And I think it's because I, my house is always loud. There's always, and I do like, I love loud music, but I need, sometimes I just need, need loud music is in my car and at home, but not in my office. Here, this is my okay. quiet space. So there you go. Now you guys have learned so much. I'm flipping houses. I'm flipping houses. <laughs> You're flipping houses. There you go. You guys have learned so much about me. Um, and I don't know if you were interested in doing that or not, but there you go. Um, so we will be reaching out to Billy and Mara and um, Sandra, and we'll be getting you guys prizes. Jay, thanks so much for, for teaching us a few things. Um, and, and, you know, yeah, thanks for being, a thanks for being a friend. Now, Thank you, you for being a friend. Golden girls. Go. See, yeah, I know. I and I, I set you up. I, up. I, I, I queued it, it up. up for you. I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, we are real friends that's how that's how it works so um anyways well i hope you guys go out there and find other people to collaborate with on um instagram reels and and just in business in general you know um collaboration is always a good thing that's what we do here at wise agent i mean with the webinar series with the crm itself with everything we do it's all about collaboration it does make you better um it does up your game and so um, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks, Jay, for, for being on and for, for this challenge. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here in this moment. I made it, Mom. Like I said, I made it. <laughs> All right. I will be back live. I, I've got a couple of webinars happening next week. Um, Marquis is actually going to be on the webinar. We're going to be talking about repurposing content. See how I queued it up, and it's like, oh, we're talking about content Marky here. Wow, <laughs> it's your girl, Marky Lemons Rao here. Marky Lemons Rao, she's, she's going to be on the webinar next week, Friday. We're going to be talking about repurposing content um, because you can create all these videos, and then you don't want to just use them for one thing. So when Jay was talking about um, my team taking a snippet of me accepting all of y'all's challenges out there um, for reels. That's, um, 
you know, that's something that you can do is take a snippet of something and then reuse it other places. So we're going to be talking all about that next week. I'm excited for that one. And then Brandon and I, Brandon Wise, our CEO, we're going to be back at the end of the year. I don't have the date in front of me, some date. I think it's the 29th. Um, of December. I'm pretty sure it's the 29th. And we're going to be talking about like an end of year wrap up, everything, not everything, but we'll say kind of give a highlight, highlights of what, um, what Wise Agent was doing in 2021 and where we're headed in 2022 for you all. So I'm excited for that one and having Brandon on the webinar with me, that will be a fun one as well. So you guys hopefully will join us and we'll be, and Sarah just said, yes, it is the 29th. Yay. So so I will see you all next week and and then beyond what, that. What kind of music do you want us to go out to? At the Circus, Superhero Story, um, Still Ballin'. Still Ballin'. Okay, here we go. This is good. This is, I feel like this is yours. Good for you right here. Yeah, this is. Living right here like. I'm Gen X, so. <laughs> CRM was all but we could freeze it out like this all day. Spit bars like a camel in a major way. Let's go. You can stop the flow because you gotta stop the live stream at some point, you know? Let's go. <laughs> there you go. J Man. J Man speaks. Thanks, Jay, for everything. Appreciate you. It was fun hanging out in triple play. Yes. All right. See y'all real soon. Make See it a great day. All right. Bye.